A Singapore's only landfill, that's the Macau, is more than half full. The plot of land, which is larger than 650 football fields, has two parts to it. The first is nearly at maximum capacity, while the other is around 10% filled. Sustainability experts say the only way to extend the island's lifespan is to educate people on how much waste they are creating. Chloe Chu with this report. It has lush greenery, mangroves and even migratory birds make a pit stop here. It might surprise you, but this is a Samaka landfill. The rubbish produced by nearly 6 million people in Singapore is first incinerated and then dumped here. But the island is in trouble. Environmental experts say more needs to be done, and fast. With the current pace of recycling, the current pace of reuse in Singapore, uh, it is very difficult to see how we can avoid filling up Samakao. Samaka was built to hold enough waste to fill 11,200 Olympic-sized pools. But with over 2,000 tonnes of ash and non-incinerable waste, like sludge, getting sent here every day, it'll eventually run out of space. Samarco is expected to reach full capacity by 2035. Singapore produced about 7.4 million tonnes of waste last year, and of that, only about half was recycled, and majority of the remaining is incinerated and brought to this island as ash. But the island is filling up fast, and authorities are in a race against time to extend its lifespan. The National Environment Agency is conducting studies with local universities to determine if the ash from this island can be repurposed into construction materials. Experts say, while feasible, it's an uphill battle. In addition to the ash, there are also other mixed materials. So we need to separate those materials from the ash. There may be some residual chemicals that were not removed during the incineration. So this may need to be processed again. The challenge, to some extent, is beyond technology, but also cost. Associate Professor Sulaiman adds the best way to manage waste is still to reuse as much as possible and incentivize households to recycle. Non-governmental organization Zero Waste SG is also calling on businesses to do their part. It's key for manufacturers, for producers to even look at how can we um, design for circularity a, little bit, a bit better. So that means, for example, can our products be repaired? Uh, can they be built in a modular form such that when one module is broken, you can replace that module rather than throw away the whole product? The organisation is focusing on educating the public and businesses about cutting down on waste sent to the landfill. Its outreach programmes include workshops and waste audits. Such efforts, if successful, could mean that Simakao's usefulness may extend beyond 2035.